welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Lisa and I have a very special video planned for us all today. Christmas is my very favorite time of year and my sister and I love decorating for Christmas time. We are by no means professional designers, but I think we really have a good grasp on what we like for Christmas and on how we wanted our house to look this year for Christmas. So I hope this video inspires you and gives you some ideas on maybe things you never really thought of doing before, as well as maybe a new Christmas theme. This year we went with white and gold, so you'll be seeing that throughout our whole entire video. A lot of our decorations were actually on a budget as well. Some things we even got from the dollar store. So if you're on a budget as well, this is a great video for you to watch. Yeah, Christmas is just a very special time of year for us, and I hope you really enjoy watching how we decorated our house for Christmas this year. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone! As you know, the most important part about decorating for Christmas is the Christmas tree. It's kind of like the pièce de résistance of any house. The first thing I look at when I go to someone's house is their Christmas tree. So this tree is obviously a fake tree. The most important part to remember when you have a fake tree is that as you set it up layer by layer, this came in three pieces, you have to really fluff out the tree to give it that full you know, real Christmas tree look. So me and my sister Jules, we did a really good job I think at setting it up all by ourselves. And of course, our theme. Our decorating theme is gold. We love gold. Every year we incorporate gold in some kind of way. So this year we did gold and white, and then we tied in a little bit of even like silver and glass pieces to really give it a lot of depth and warmth. So what I really love about our tree this year is the fact that we mix some old pieces with new pieces. So some expensive family heirlooms with really inexpensive pieces that were even from the dollar store as well. So we popped in some of these big ornaments just so that the tree would look like it's more full. And as well, we added some pine cones. I love pine cones around this time of year. Our main focus was white and gold, so we bought these really inexpensive um, tree stuffers from the dollar store. I think they might have been like maybe three or four dollars Canadian each, so that was not bad. And we've had this, um, the star for our tree since I can remember, since I was a little kid. So I really like the idea of hanging on to some precious ornaments as well because you have ornaments that are affordable but you also want to have things that mean something to you. So we kept a couple really nice family pieces and we kind of showcased them more towards the front. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite ornaments and we've had it since I was a kid. Some of these old school ornaments that like just really brought the tree to life and kind of it gave us that feeling that we had the same tree that we did when we were a kid but we kind of updated it, right? So my mom used to do a lot of gold, so we always kept that color theme going. When you decorate the whole house, it gets kind of expensive, so if you would like to have your tree looking really, you know, full and beautiful and just lush, the dollar store is actually a great place to buy these kind of things. A lot of little fillers, so like the little pine cones and little things to pop in your tree and these baubles and like these tree fillers, that, that is a great place. Honestly, the dollar store is probably like the best tip I can give you if you want to make your tree come to life on a budget. to set up our village. This is something that we've had since we were kids growing up and over the years we've added on our own pieces. So some of them look a little bit more modern and some of them look old because we've had some of them for I think 20 years or something like that. So it was really cute when we got our own place to pick our favorite pieces and to make it kind of our own. So we set up this village. We ripped up a little old blanket and we used that in place of snow and then we set up our village. and. Our village is something that is so special to us because it's very sentimental and it just doesn't really feel like Christmas without the village. I remember once my mom threatened us to not put up the village one year and we said, nope, you have to put up the village. It's almost as important as the tree for us because it's just so whimsical and magical and I think that's what Christmas is all about during this time of year. So I feel like if you kind of want to start your own Christmas tradition, a really cute idea is to get a village going. You can get a small one going and throughout the years you can add some more pieces to it. There's always really good and interesting pieces. So that could be a really good addition for a family is to kind of make a Christmas village. So if you're wondering what else can I do besides a tree and certain centerpieces, a village is a really great addition to any house. I absolutely love it. It is just a piece that just, it wouldn't feel like Christmas without our Christmas village. So this is sort of 
our little Christmas corner that you can see from all aspects of our home. So we wanted to make it look really cute and festive. So we decided to pick this Christmas garland that was already pre-lit and we sort of popped that in as well to give it that Christmas magical vibe. So it looks really nice at nighttime all lit up and this centerpiece really stands out as well. This was sort of something that we always had here, but on top of this tray, we just had like a little candle and something very simple. So to give it that Christmas feel, any leftover decorations that you're not really sure where to put or what to do with, you can kind of create your own little centerpiece. So these little fawns that we had left over, we sort of popped them in there. We had this little fake plant that didn't have any Christmassy things on, so we just put these detachable pieces and we stuck it on to almost make it look like a little faux tree. But the great thing about that is that when Christmas is done, you can just pack up the decorations but keep these heavy objects so you don't have to keep changing all your seasonal things. Like this candle was always here and this looks really great all year round. So that was a great piece and as well we kind of bought these little trees very inexpensive from the dollar store again and it sort of makes things look just very Christmassy and magical and whimsical just little pops of inexpensive things can really make your house come to life for the Christmas season this is something that we'll probably do every year we decided to add this sort of centerpiece that you'd almost put candles on except instead of candles we sort of made it look a little bit more lively with these really pretty baby's breath that I already have from some flowers. Once these die you can always put candles again but it's nice to sort of change up the centerpiece as well. It doesn't have to look the same all year round you can sort of mix and match pieces. Um, the table runner was from HomeSense and this centerpiece was from HomeSense as well. You could just find old jars around the house or candles anywhere. This little tree was from the dollar store which is great and this kind of corner is sort of cute because it has our tree and then we wanted to make this corner look festive as well. So inside we kind of put some little Christmassy pieces as well but the main focus is the top. These old kitschy trees are something that people have had since they were kids. Everybody who comes over says, oh my god, my grandma had that, I had that when I was growing up. So these trees are really cute and festive and they're kind of special. They're something that everyone can read, really to. And these light up as well, so they look really cute in this dark corner at nighttime. We just put in a little snowman to make it that much more cuter. So I really like this corner as well, and I think that it's something that, you know, it just it's a cute idea on what you can do in these kind of bare corners in your house. How do you make it look more festive? Just pop in some of your favorite pieces and just don't worry if it goes with your theme, it will go. Christmas is, is a time to be playful. <laughs> two years ago and it's held up really great considering that it has lights already built in. I was almost worried that oh what am I going to do if they go out but this is two years strong and they're still going. So we got these really special Christmas decorations from the dollar store. Again I'm not going to spend a lot of money on Christmas decorations for my bedroom so the dollar store was the perfect spot to pick up some decorations. Last year I got these gold ones that came in like these really big packs for a couple dollars each and then this year they had some really cute little stars and little candy ornaments and as well I added some personal touches that I would like on my own personal tree. These were from HomeSense, these are cute little globes and I got a little ornament with me and my boyfriend to represent our first Christmas and things like that just make it that much more personal. So you'll want to put things in your own bedroom that kind of mean something to you that are more maybe private. <laughs> The really great thing about decorating for Christmas is that the littlest touches go the longest way. So adding little cute Christmas decorations wherever you can really makes the world of a difference. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed seeing how me and my sister decorated for Christmas this time of year. It is our favorite holiday ever and we really wanted our house to look very warm, cozy and whimsical. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments down below on how you're decorating this time of year. I love to know what kind of themes everyone's working with, what things they love. Do you love pine cones? Do you love gold? Do you love reds? Are you a traditionalist? Do you like to be a little bit more kitschy and cutesy and maybe decorate even with pinks? I would love to know, so please leave your feedback below and stay tuned because I will be posting a video every single week and I might even be doing Vlogmas. Who knows? Give me your feedback. Would you like to see that? So thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more videos. Bye!